हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वन डायमेंशनल अरे सो हेयर आर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वन डायमेंशनल अरे देन वी विल सी इट्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन आफ्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी विल डिस्कस हाउ यू कैन डिक्लेयर वन डायमेंशनल अरे एंड हाउ यू कैन इजिली इनिशलाइज वन डायमेंशनल अरे आफ्टर दिस वी विल सी इस example program for one dimensional array and then we will determine its size and then we will see its example program so first we will discuss one dimensional array so one dimensional array is basically a type of linear array it's mean it has linear structure assessing its elements involves a single subscript it means it has only one index which basically represent a row or a column as an example consider the declaration int int is here data type array name is array name and 10 is here array size so basically this array contains 10 integers all are of type int it's mean all elements all of type integer this array has indices starting from 0 so in the previous video i will tell you that array index always start from 0 and this array basically contain 10 element so it has starting index 0 and ending index 9 the expression array name 0 and array name Nine are the first and last elements. So here it's representation. So in this representation, you can see int is here. Its data type marks is here array name and ten is basically array size. And these are memory location in which we store data. And these are indexes. Using these indexes, we assess. Values. For example, if we want to assess values at zero index, so I will use this index zero at this position. And if you want to assess fifth position index value, so you have to write here five. So using indexes, you can easily assess elements. So it's declaration syntax. In declaration. you first write data type and then array name and in the braces you write array size so let's see its example for example int is here data type and a double r is here array name and 10 is here array size which contain 10 elements all all type integer here it's initialization syntax so first you have to write data type after data type you have to write array name in the braces you write array size is equal to and in the braces you write comma separated list of elements let's see its example for example int is data type a double r is array name and its size is 10 and in the braces you write 10 elements 1 2 3 up to so on 10 this is basically initialization of 10 elements in the array now we will see its example program so first you have to basically initialize an array so i am basically initializing first you have to write its data type integer and then array name i am writing array name a double r and then braces you have to write any element size i am writing here 6 and then is equal to and then in the curly bracket you have to write six elements i am writing 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 then semicolon then you have to declare int i semicolon and then you have to use for loop then i is equal to 0 semicolon i less than 6 semicolon then i 
plus plus increment operator then you have to write curly brackets in the curly brackets you have to display first you have to display position and after position you have to use position that is i here we get value of i and after position you have to here display array name a double r and after that you have to here display array values so i am writing here a double r array name and then presses i and then send operator end line semicolon and below that you will write get character and then return zero semicolon and then you will compile it so i am compiling so here you can see basically no errors occurs now run it so here you can see its output so basically this execution shows at position 0 value is 1 at position 1 value of array is 2 and position 2 value is 3 and up to so on at position 5 value is 6 so after this example now we will see how you can easily determine the size of one dimensional array so so we can use basically the size of operator to find the size of one dimensional array because the size of operator always tell you what the size of an array in bytes and size of each element and if you want to basically find the size of element so you have to divide size of an array and size of each element so now we will see its example program so first you have to basically initialize an array so i am first writing int data type and then writing score which is an array name and in the braces i am writing five element size five array size is equal to and then in the curly brackets i am writing 2 comma 4 comma 6 8 comma 10 five elements and now now i am using c out and here i am basically writing the array is and then i am using here size of operator to find how many bytes long array has size of score and then in the brackets you have to write s c o r e score and then you have to use and line sorry have to use bytes how many bytes long array is and then you have to write and lines and then semicolon now you have to write here c out double quotes the array has and then you have to write here size of and in the brackets you have to write score and then divide operator and then you have to write again size of and in the brackets you have to write int and then and you will write here elements and here you will write and line and then semicolon then below that you will write get character function semicolon and then you will write return zero semicolon now compile it so here you can see basically no errors occurs now run it here its output the array has array is 20 bytes long and the array has basically five element so that's it from this video kindly press the like button and subscribe button and if you want to ask any questions regarding this video 
then ask in the comment section of this video thank you so much